morning. Thanks for having us up here. It's uh, good to be in this city. I'm um, excited to, to see what Minneapolis has for Big Ten basketball. Um, for me, I'm just glad to be in a little better mood because if the Chiefs won, or if the Chiefs didn't win last night, I wasn't going to be very happy. Um, I don't have much to say to start off, so I answer questions you have. I know the sooner I get out of here, the faster Matt Painter gets up here. And I know what it's like to listen to him talk because I, I have a notepad every time I walk into his office or practice. So we'll make this short and sweet. Questions for Coach? Coach third row on your right. Good morning, Coach. Cindy Brunson, Pac-12 Network. Your team's ability to shoot the three-point shot was staggering last season. Do you have plans to implement a three-point shooting contest at next year's men's and women's tournaments here at the Target Center? Um, good morning, Cindy. Thanks for the question. Um, we, uh, we did shoot it well. We shot it a lot. I know that. Um, so hopefully we shoot it even better this year. Um, I think it would be something something pretty special. Um, a long, long time ago, I was able to, to kind of win that contest, and I think if it was here at the Final Four, it'd be something pretty cool. Coach, questions for Coach? Coach, uh, back row on your right side. Chris Werner from The Daily Island. Can you just talk about what Caitlin Clark has done, you know, for college women's college basketball as a as a whole, and how she's kind of raised the profile of the sport? Yeah, um, you know, as a as a conference, we're extremely lucky and blessed to to have Caitlin in our league. Um, the the national attention she gets and what it does to elevate our our game and and our brand. Um, you know, hate playing against her, hate game planning against her, but. Uh, what she does is, I mean, she puts eyes on all of us, and uh, we're super, super, super lucky. Coach, what did you learn about yourself after year one that's going to help you here in year two? You know, I, I don't know how much I learned about myself. I learned a lot about my team, um, about what, what we needed to do to, to, to get where we wanted to go. Um, I think this time last year, I'd been the head coach for three weeks standing up here. Uh, my knees were shaking, I, my head's barely above water, so now everything feels a little bit more normal. A um, lot less stress right now, but I'm sure that'll, that'll amp up. But it, it's nice to answer questions in the back and really understand who my kids are, what kind of music they like, because this time last year I had no idea who they were. We were still trying to figure each other out. On your right, back side. Myron Metcalf, ESPN coach. I'm just curious, how did you become a Kansas City Chiefs fan growing up in Beach Grove, uh, Indiana? Yeah, good question. Well, diehard Peyton Manning fan my whole life. Um, Colts trade him off, goes to Denver, become a Broncos fan. Um, and Andy Reid has always kind of had my heart, and so maybe I'm a bandwagon jumper. I don't know, but I'm not going anywhere. Uh, it's, uh, it's Kansas City Chiefs all the way. Coach, thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you guys.